Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex. And today we're going to take a look at the history of Six Gun Territory, located in Silver Springs, Florida. From the very beginning, Six Gun Territory was destined to become the stuff of Western lore. R.B. Coburn would head up the town's construction. He was already involved in Ghost Town in the Sky, up north. Models were made depicting what the old Wild West town in Florida would look like. Construction began in June of 62, and these buildings were built to withstand hurricane weather. Naturally, there was an old steam locomotive. Fair warning, if you ride the Southern Railway, it often gets held up. In February of 63, Six Gun Territory officially opened. Clint Walker from TV's Cheyenne was there. Over the years, a whole passel of TV cowboys moseyed through the town. There was also an appearance by a millionaire hillbilly. Now here's a tall tale for you. In January of 64, an Ocala drugstore was held up. The thief made it to Six Gun territory and got lost in the crowd. He might even be in this old picture. In June of 64, the Six Gun Territory installed fancy Italian gondolas, just like they had in the Old West. In 66, a fire caused $80,000 in damages. Over the years, some bandits made a career of biting the dust. But in August of 67, another tall tale occurred when real bandits showed up at Six Gun Territory. Three gunmen pulled a real robbery. They tied up a guard, smashed the safe, and took $6,000. But the guard got loose, and the bandits were cut off at the pass by three deputies. They left their loot and headed for the woods, through a snake-infested swamp, and they dead-ended at the Oklawaha River and a bloodhound-led posse scooped them up. A fire in 74 destroyed an entire town block, but six-gun territory forged on.
578, the cowboy luster was wearing thin, and it seemed that the old piano player had played his last song. Six Gun Territory was a closed up ghost town, and it was heading for the auction block. At the last second, the cavalry rode in when new owners bought the place. There was a lot of celebration, at least for a while. By 84, it was clear the glory days were long gone, and this time there was no cavalry to save the day. The marshal could only watch as the largest auction this side of the Pecos cleared out six gun territory. The remaining buildings were either bulldozed or burned. Six Gun Territory became Six Gun Plaza. What do you say we go back to June of 65 and take one last ride on the Southern Railway? Sadly, pretty much all that's left is memories of a ghost town that rode the gondola into the sky. But don't ride off into the sunset just yet. In the mid-20-teens, Kirby Family Farm began hosting six-gun territory reunions. Even one of the old steam locomotives returned. For more information on how to attend one of these reunions, look up Kirby Family Farm on the Ethernet or on that highfalutin dime novel called Facebook. Well, it looks like it's time to get along, little doggy. Please subscribe to this channel for more tall tales and watch out for rattlesnakes out on the trail.